Hi everybody, it's Tuesday. I'm going to show you the one artistic thing I did and then I have to like get ready. I'm officially deciding Tuesdays might be stream days. I haven't decided yet, but this is what I did last night. I did another acrylic pour. It's not entirely dry yet. I was going for space and it just kind of looks like uh, Hades from Hercules, to be honest. I'm getting more blue fire than space. I lost a lot of my purple, honestly, but I'm kind of glad I lost my purple. It was kind of a butt ugly purple, but, um, yeah, I'm still going to try to do it. I'm just going to do like a little solar system piece kind of thing. Um, it's also kind of practice since my middle name is from space. I thought it'd be kind of fun to do some pores kind of inspired by my name or where it comes from. That'd be neat, kind of neat. Anyways, um, I've got two videos I need to film on stream. Uh, for The Sims, I'm doing my All Skills house and that bistro build that I really want to do. So, yeah. Guess I'm streaming. Hello. Okay, so, it's been a bit. It's like 1... Yeah, like 118. So, stream went well. I just went a bit too long, to be honest. I, my back is killing me. If I do draw anything today, I think I want to do... Another one of those, like, my Valentine's Day monsters. Uh, I wanted another, like, cold blending two colors and make that the color scheme kind of thing. Uh, because I did yellow and pink to get orange, part of me either really wants to do green or purple. So I might just see what kind of colors I have and see what comes to mind a day. Because <laughs> it's been raining and it's been cold. So, yeah, that's just been today. I was going to check mail in Badger... And Tasha have decided to come with me. Also, over there, over there is Pants Cat. Um, Pants Cat is a cat that I haven't seen up close, so I'm going to see if I can get look at Pants Cat. And I think I just saw spinach go into the cow pasture. Great. It's like Bigfoot. There you are. It's like literally hunting Bigfoot, but it's a cat. I just want good look at you, buddy. So this voiceover is gonna be a bit of a long one and I'm really sorry for that. It's just, there's a lot of stuff I had to get done and it's kind of hard to make things like clay inventory or having to sit on the couch and just work my butt off entertaining. So yeah, that's just how it is sometimes. But as I said, the first thing is clay inventory. That is checking everything in my clay boxes in addition to my dreaded, dreaded, very dreaded scraps box. Because if you work with polymer clay, you know that scraps can get out of hand pretty quickly. I have way too many scraps and sometimes, especially with some of the colors I end up with or the canes I end up with, it's pretty tough for me to think of ways to use them. I'm also having to account for CraftSmart coming out with new colors, what seems like way too frequently and there's just a lot to keep up with. Even during the last time that I bought clay, there's like five new colors that I kind of really want to play with, but I just, I gotta get some orders out first and I needed to make sure that I had things on hand for something for next launch. On, on to the next big project um, for this week and that is I'm trying to actually mix my own color recipes. That is something I've always wanted to do, I've always thought about doing, uh, but I never really had the, uh, the know-how to do it until I got my art books. So I ended up using my scrap green that I have, always, always have, I always have scrap green for some reason, uh, some scrap white that looks a little weird, and then, uh, some yellow that is in package. Um, uh, these are actually for a redesign project of mine, something I've been wanting to do for about a year now, I've just never had the colors, um, for people that have been here with the shop for a very long time when I first started out, I hand cut and hand painted some popsicle earrings that looking back, 
cringe. I'm going to say it. They were cringe. They were, were, they were quality. I wasn't happy with. They were uneven. None of the studs seemed to be the same size, even with the template that I made. I am really thankful that they were popular and people did love them. Uh, people who bought them all over the country and I'm thankful for that. I just know I can do better now with close to three years of polymer clay under my belt. So that green I'm using is actually going to be for mint chocolate chip. Um, there's me showing the colors. Um, in total, I'm going to have about nine flavors plus a custom option. So we're going to have 10. There's that yellow. It is, ooh, it's a bright yellow. It looks really weird. I'm aware of that. Uh, for anyone curious about my recipe, it is one part white. My white was just also scrap white. So it had like some other little bits and bobs in it, but it was mostly white. Uh, and that yellow is Sculpey's Acid Yellow. Uh, so yeah, one part scrap green, one part white, one part acid yellow, and you get a really nice color. Uh, I could imagine you do this with uh, kind of a normal yellow or a neutrally green and end up with something very similar. It's just what I had on hand, um, and I'm pretty sure other colors, uh, other greens and yellows could work just as fine. Uh, I'm going to be grading in some Craft Smart Brown for the actual chocolate chip part. Um, that's just a little book. Um, the book I keep my recipes in, I keep a lot of my clay stuff in that notebook, and we're going to move on to Rocky Road. This one was really, really fun for me. Um, it's actually my mom's favorite ice cream. It's a combination of some Craft Smart Brown, Craft Smart Tan, which is not the same of Craft Smart Beige, apparently, and a touch of that Scrap White also. Uh, for some reason, it was reading a bit gray here. I don't really know why, but I did one of my favorite techniques. It's never steered me wrong, and that is just cut them into tiny pieces, squish them back together, and it's a pretty nice marble if you do it, you know, enough, I guess, is the best way to say it. It's really cute, and in the end, I'm not sure, uh, you'll see, I cut these cones two different ways. Uh, how my cutter is shaped, there's like a lip. I don't know if in the end I'm going to be doing where that lip is part of the cone or part of the ice cream. Um, I like it where the edge is the cone more, but I personally see a lot of other artists do it where that lip is the ice cream, uh, so I don't really know yet, and, um, yeah, I think I had to re chop it up the rocky road. Um, I have a lot of colors around me, so it was a lot of weird, and I had to rely a lot on color theory here. Uh, so in the end, I think I think I did say it. I'm gonna have nine flavors: chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, rocky road, cookies and cream, cookie dough, rainbow sherbet, mint chocolate chip, Neapolitan, and then my custom. I say the rocky road turned out so stinking cute. Uh, the cone is actually a uh, craft smart, not craft smart. It's Sculpey. Buried treasure or ancient treasure? I forget. I got two or three packs of it on clearance and I thought it made a really nice color. Uh, and that's actually just a stationary set. It's a stamp I got in a set from McKay's. It's like a used bookstore in my area, but they sometimes have like stationary stuff or art stuff. Uh, and I got a set of four stamps, which are pretty awesome. And I use them for clay a lot. Um, anyways, the main reason I know I wanted to redo these, in addition to the fact that I know I can do better, is this the fact they were popsicles, but I called them ice cream, and I hated the fact that I just kind of took all of the Among Us colors and assigned flavors to them, and I wish I didn't do that. I hate that I did that. So I made, like, a whole rainbow, and then I just picked ones. Like, my teal one ended up being sea salt ice cream. Yeah, like the stuff from Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy, I think. Yeah, I'm not proud of that one. Um, but yeah, here's how the Rocky Road turned out. So, so cute. Again, I, I don't know which way I'm going to do the cones. There's both ways. I think in the end, I do like the lip being the cone. But if you guys like the other one, I, I do have both. I cut two... I cut both ways for each of the ones I was making. Here's the grater. Do not worry, I do not use it for food anymore. My mom doesn't use it for food anymore. That is 100% a polymer clay tool. It is 100% an art tool. Anything I use for clay is no longer food safe. That is a big tip for me. If you use it with polymer clay, even if it's a cookie cutter, no matter how much you wash something, it is no longer food safe. That is just a big rule. 
And now we're gonna move on to, um, oh wait, nope, I gotta roll it and blend out that chocolate just a little bit, but you're gonna see my major fail here, the Neapolitan. Thankfully, I did redo these, and in the end, I decided to just paint the three flavors on because they were bad. They were real bad. Um, because I kept getting muddy colors, and I went to Reddit for advice, and even then, my skill level is just not prepared for this kind of thing. So, in the end, I painted them, but I am still thankful that I managed to get Neapolitan ones that are cute. Um, but... Yeah, that's everything. Yeah, they are so funny, so bad. They're like, they look just- Hi everybody, it's Saturday. I'm deciding I'm probably gonna end the vlog today instead of tomorrow just because of logistics and everything I have to do today. I, I do intend to get clips for today, but this is where we're gonna end the vlog because I have a lot to do. So to wrap up everything for the week, we have ice cream earrings coming back. I'm deciding to redo them, relaunch them, and they're gonna be Valentine's Day part two coming in late January. In addition to barrettes, I gotta glue these today. In addition to monster drawings, I have a lot of monsters I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna draw the four I still have to do for early spins. I drew, I spun five previously in the week in order to just have five on docket so I can go ahead and start drawing them to make this explanation short and sweet and so I don't bum myself out. Any wrestling fans that watch this channel will know that Jay Briscoe passed away in a car wreck on Tuesday, I believe. Monday or Tuesday. Uh, they're not signed to AEW, but I, I'm pretty sure they're on there. I am deciding that I'm going to be drawing the Briscoes as monsters. I really love the Briscoes and I want to show support for the Briscoes as a lot of people are pretty mad at Warner Brothers right now because they refuse to let them do a tribute show and I fully believe that Jay Briscoe is a changed man. Seeing a monster Briscoe as the Briscoes are one of the best tag teams in history, I do believe that at least seeing some monster Briscoes in my art style could help the fans perk up a tiny bit. If that is my day, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, let's take the Austin John Plays approach to it this time. If you've seen me pop up and you recommend it a few times, or you've watched me a few times, and if you're not subscribed, just consider hitting the button. I'm not going to show up more or less, and it does help the channel grow. Let me know your favorite ice cream flavor, or if you think I might be missing a flavor. In total, I'm going to have 10 options. One of those is custom, but we have chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, cookies and cream, cookie dough, Neapolitan, mint chocolate chip, Rainbow Sherbert, did I say Rocky Road? Nine flavors plus a custom option. If I'm missing one, let me know which one is your favorite. Anyways, I've got a lot to do today. Uh, bye for now, everybody. Later, monsters.